Hey everybody, it's Dr. Magnifico from Jairus Bovet and Pobbly.com. Yesterday I did a video on Fripp. She was spayed yesterday, so I did a little video on her. Sort of the things that I do um, and things that I talk about with my clients when I'm gonna spay their pets and the things that I think are important for you to ask about, inquire about, and then I always try to put the prices with them too. So she was spayed yesterday morning. Um, so this is my 24-hour post-op video. She did really well. She's done really, really, really well. I always worry anyway. I especially worry about my own pets. She was on IV fluids yesterday, so she's got shaving on both of her front legs, and she was on IV fluids all day yesterday. So I was worried last night that she was going to get up multiple times and have to go to the bathroom. She didn't. She slept through the night really well. She was given an injection of a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, and that was enough to carry her. She got a little bit of something after her surgery, but that really, she did really well all night with that. She went home with two things. She went home with an e-collar and then a medical pet shirt, which is sort of like a little onesie. The medical pet shirt will cover up her incision, and then the e-collar was so that she wouldn't chew out her um, catheter that she had in her leg. She was kept in a separate crate. Normally I crate my puppies together, but I kept her in a separate crate. Um, it, you know, it's really important to try to stick with the same routine and do the same stuff so that she's comfortable because really the goal is to keep her calm, quiet, and comfortable. So she slept in the crate next to her brother. Uh, she slept through the night. She did great. A couple things that are really important. One, you should be checking the incision as soon as you pick up your puppy. So this is what her incision looks like. It looked like that yesterday and it looks like that this morning and it looked like this tonight. So no redness, no swelling, no bruising, no pain, no heat, and no discharge. If you have any questions about that, you should call your veterinarian or the surgeon immediately to talk to them about the incision. Um, no licking. So she has been very good about not licking, but she would either be in her medical pet shirt or her e-collar or both so that she doesn't lick at her incision. Typically the dogs who are six months or under really don't, they don't really bother their incision very much. The older they are, the more I worry about them chewing on their incision line. So absolutely they should go home with something. You should know what the what to do if your pet has problems that night or the next morning. You know, typically I talk about clients trying to stay home the next day or if they have to go to work, drop them off with us so that we can monitor them during the day. But the first 12 to 24 hours, they might be a little sleepy, a little groggy. We don't feed them unless they're looking really very normal or you just hand feed them very small amounts. So that's another thing to talk to your vet about. Um, and then within 24 hours, they should really be acting and looking really, really very normal. If they're not, that's a big red flag and you should talk to your vet. I wanna make sure they're peeing within 24 hours. Peeing should be comfortable and it should be normal. If, that, if they're not doing that, you should call your vet immediately. She was a little painful when she was posturing to defecate yesterday, but that's gone away. Um, she's only kind of vocalized twice. That was once when we were trying to pick her up and I think she was just really very nervous. And the other time was when she jumped up to greet me and then she yelped, but she's been very comfortable and acting very, very normal. So things have been going really well. Um, but don't hesitate to call your vet if you have any questions or concerns. So those are the things to talk about. What's your plan for that night, the next couple of days? Who do you call if there's a question or a problem? What's the follow-up? And then what kind of pain meds are available and um, post-operative things that you should keep in mind. If you have any questions about spaying, you can find me at Jared's Full Vet or anytime at pobbly.com. Take care. Fripp says goodbye.